today is March 8th, 2012, and uh, one of uh, Old Masset Village Councillors' Councillors, Harold Yeltatsi, has just turned on um, a radiological health monitoring station um, but that is uh, owned by the Old Masset Village Council to monitor um, radiation and um, all, all components of radiation emissions that might uh, arrive across the ocean from Japan. Uh, we can monitor air, water, um, solid objects, and we can do this 24-7. And um, we'll hook through the internet to um, a more sophisticated setup in Vancouver for analysis if, it's, if it becomes necessary. And uh, as of today, we're a go. Um, the reason that Old Mass has taken this step is that um, a year ago, when Fukushima disaster happened, um, we, we are immediately concerned about contamination coming across the oceans because we've experienced this with Chernobyl in the past and where levels went right through the ceiling and we were exposed to a fairly severe health risk. Um, this time we had a difficulty um, engaging the federal government to do the monitoring that we required to protect the health of our community. So we started our own monitoring um, system, which was basically collecting samples and sending them to a lab in Saskatchewan, which was very expensive, and uh, also, you know, patching in FedEx and that to make sure that we didn't have to wait two weeks for a result. Um, this became quite a chore and eventually basically got to the point where we didn't have the money to do it all. I am, even though for, to begin with Health Canada and ministries such as those did say they would help but they never did and they never did the monitoring that we determined was the most important so we just took the next step and decided okay we'll do our own monitoring so as of today we're up and running and 24-7 um, we'll be monitoring so we'll know exactly what our community is exposed to and that's all that we're most interested in and we'll pass that knowledge on to the community of Haida Gwaii. So in effect this is making Old, old Masset the science capital of the Pacific Northwest, is it not? Um, definitely in the Aboriginal world. I don't think there's another Aboriginal scientific monitoring station anywhere on the globe. But, you know, little things like that don't daunt us. Uh, we need to protect the health of our community, so that's the step we've taken. So it's unfortunate, but that's what we're doing.